Welcome to Popwood Playback. I'm David Lyle with Popular Woodworking. This is going to be a short video because we've been very, very busy around the Popwood shop. Um, I got a couple projects here that I think, these were actually both built by uh, Andrew Zollner, our editor. Um, we have this router table. Let me show you this. This is very cool. And I'm going to get into the YouTube stuff in a second. I just want to show you the cool things that are going on. Um, so this is our sliding routing router table um, that Andrew built. And so this is actually a course that is live on our, that's not my, where'd my drink go? Live on our uh, streaming site. Uh, and so we're actually doing this as a group build. And so um, when you purchase the course, you get um, a live Q and A every week with Andrew uh, who built this um, and the support and all the documents and the plans and all that kind of stuff that go with it. So we're really excited about this. And so we have like the half drawers because the lift and everything back there. It's very cool. Anyway, sliding mechanism is neat. Also, this drill press table was built alongside the folks of Woodpeckers. And so this is their table, uh, Rikon drill press. So we got a Woodcraft. Uh, we built in a vacuum down at the bottom um, so that it's always handy with the remote switch and all the goodness that brings. Uh, great drawers. So this is a fun video. This, Jake, when does this come out? Jake has no idea. We never know when stuff's coming out. It's on a spreadsheet somewhere. Anyhow, and then this morning, most fun. I feel like I should get into a video first. Our first video is from Sean at SE Woodworks. This was a submitted video. Come on. Okay, I guess I have to read it this way. Um, he has 12,000 subs and this is a handmade carved wooden scoreboard. He talked about university or uni and school and I don't think he's from the States, so it works different over there. Anyhow, there's great carving. It was nice that he didn't do it on a CNC. He did it by hand like lots of people before us have done. So it's a great build. Check this out. Okay. This is what I have been working on. This is going into the December issue. We had our beauty session here today, uh, getting our shots. It's actually going to be on the cover. And that's exciting and terrifying because there are things about this that are not perfect, perfect, but don't tell anyone. So uh, this is a traveling tool case with a drawer, place for my number five, number four, my combination square chisels, sharpening gear, and my saws. Uh, the two that I decided to keep in my traveling case are just a normal cross cut saw and my dovetail saw for small rips. Other than that, I think I'm covered in either shop that I'm in. And these are just the ones I like to keep on hand. Uh, and then a coping saw, of course. But check this out. Oh, see, my, my cork chipped. You're getting the inside scoop here. Um, oh, this is a cork uh, surround that goes on here. to bring it home because I made this as one dovetailed carcass. Let me get that all beauty shot for you. Um, and then I ripped it on a table saw. So this pin had to be double width so that it made sense when this came apart that we'd have two tails in the three pins on the separate parts. Anyhow, um, it's pretty much done. I wish I had a little more time to finesse it and make it ultra perfect, but such is the publishing life I'll get to do that later. Um, oh, and these are just magneted on, mag, mag, magneted? I don't know if that's a word, but they stick on that way. I think I'm gonna add a little lever that captures the handle over here. So anyway, this is uh, the project I've been working on for a little while now, and I'm very excited about it. Check out this spalting. That's so fun. You know, I would say, if you're thinking about working with spalted maple like this, depending on the severity of the spalting, it can make your life difficult. And so like dovetailing it, there are hard parts and softer parts of spalted maple. And so when I was uh, paring my, my tails down and getting them flush with the case and everything, I did have some breakout that was associated with the material actually crumbling versus like my chisel wasn't sharp enough. So very sharp chisels will help a lot, um, but it's not perfect, but it's also handmade. So our next video comes from Patrick Sullivan, 
29,000 subs. This is an ultra accurate miter gauge sled. Um, and so he walks you through how he was dissatisfied with miter gauges uh, and he wanted to make a better one. And so this is actually, it, it reminds me of the Rockler one with the giant gauge on the side. Uh, but he, get, he provides you a template on his website um, that you can print out and take to FedEx is what he did. And then he had it laminated and then he sets it all up anyhow. Um, you can check this out. It's a great build. Uh, and I really like your presentation of in the video. It was very thorough and he talks about how he sorted out some things like, excuse me, for instance, um, he was talking about like the best bit to use to cut out the laminated template. And he tried three different ones and he showed you the results and it's, it's just very thorough, very uh, informative. And so great video there. And our last video comes from Bodie at DIY Home and Garden Projects. He has 7,000 subs. He did a mission style coffee table build. He said this was his first time doing mortise and tenon, but he knocked it out of the park. And so like everyone who does mortise and tenon finds out it's not as scary as some people lead you to believe. Uh, and he's excited to try the next time, try it again. Um, so check out this build uh, and maybe go build it yourself because it's a beautiful coffee table. So we've got some great projects in the pipeline at Popular Woodworking. Um, I wanna say thank you to the three people that sent me emails about their channels and other smaller channels. Uh, I think that's a really fun thing to do on Pop Wood Playback is to feature these channels that aren't getting the eyes that they deserve. And so please continue to send those. Uh, if you're interested in hosting Pop Wood Playback, I am of course always open to that. And so I had a, someone last week send me one. Um, so if you're interested, send me an email. My uh, contact information will be there in the description. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. And thank you for tolerating the mess that is our workshop. We need like a recovery week after all these big uh, bills that we've had recently. So anyhow, we'll see you next week.